How's it going fellow foxes? My name is Soledo and today we're back at King of Thieves. We're gonna play some more King of Thieves. If you discovered my channel through Clash Royale, you should definitely check this game out. I've played it in the past, it's a lot of fun and we're gonna start playing it once again. If you want to play along, there is a sponsored uh, download link below in the description through which you can download this game totally for free on Android or iOS. So we're gonna do a Let's Play series and I will give you guys tips and tricks on how to improve your King of Thieves gameplay and we'll probably keep this uh, series running up until we hit 1 million gems in King of Thieves. I think that's a pretty good uh, goal uh, to try and reach. So first of all, we have to verify our age and I'm gonna pick 20 because I'm 20 years old. So okay, there we go. So we're gonna have to pick a name for our character. We are going to pick Soledo, obviously. There we go. And as most of you guys probably know, I was banned on my previous account in King of Thieves because I showed some hacks to you guys. So therefore I have to create a new account, but I don't really mind. Uh, so we're gonna do this account totally hack free. Uh, no shady stuff will be going on. We're gonna play legit and I'm gonna teach you tips and tricks on how to build your bases and rating and stuff. So let's get going. Jeffy here, this guy. Psst, I'm breaking you out. Get to the door. Okay, there we go. So this is the very first level you're, you'll encounter in King of Thieves and basically the goal of King of Thieves is uh, to reach the door or in this case a door but most likely it's gonna be a totem in the game. Uh, so here Jeffy says nice moves now watch out for those traps. So every dungeon you encounter will have some traps and you'll have to evade those. And you can do that by jumping over them or dodging them in some sort of way. Also, I want to point out that I'm playing uh, King of Thieves on my PC right now. Uh, so therefore, like certain moves, uh, it's a little bit hard to play on PC, I should say, because like on your mobile phone, you have better reflexes and stuff. But I'm still going to try and do my best here. So Jeffy says, look familiar? Not yet. Well, maybe you'll remember later. Since you've just escaped the prison, you need a place to live. So now I'm going to scroll all the way back. And here we are in the desert. Let's make this dungeon your new home. So that's the first dungeon where we will be moving in. Like it, you'd better, it's your new home. Okay, so it's no ordinary dungeon though. It has a gold mine that replenishes over time. Oh, that's fancy, give me that gold. It also has a magic totem that will make you rich. Mm, I like being rich. These gems are your main treasure. You can enhance them by putting them into the totem. Okay, so now here's my first trick uh, tip to you guys. Uh, whenever you merge gems of the same color, you get a uh, potion. But as this totem only has uh, one gem slot, you get a potion no matter what. But the kind of potion re you receive will depend on which color of gem you put in your totem. And in my opinion, the best potion is the trap removal uh, potion and you will receive that by merging red gems. So I would always advise you putting in uh, red gems when you only have one gem slot. As you can see, we got a potion over here and it's very good. So we're gonna start it and now we're gonna move back here. Uh, Jeffy says, you know the trouble with rituals, they take time to complete. Yeah, that sucks, right? Wait, do you hear that? Someone broke into your dungeon? Oh no, it's a white shadow. He's dodging all my traps. He's, he's so insanely good, man. There he goes, stealing my precious red gem. What is come back? Another player has just stolen the gem from your totem. Let's edit your dungeon to improve its defense. Okay. So we're gonna take this trap and we're gonna place it right over here. There we go. Your dungeon was successfully saved. Well done, you've improved your dungeon's defenses. Now let's find that thief and steal your gem back. Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna do some attacks, find a match, and we're gonna break in over here. So we're gonna try to find the right keyhole. There we go. We jump over the saw right to the chest and we got the gem back so a little tip i might give you is try not to pick up these green orbs it isn't bad if you actually pick them up but try to avoid them because leveling up is not always beneficial so you should definitely be a cautious and if possible you should try to avoid these green orbs these green experience orbs but it's really no big deal if you pick them up but you can pay a little attention to that okay you did it! You stole back your precious gem. Now put it back in your totem to continue the enhancing ritual. Okay, so that we're gonna put it back and resume it. 
Now we go back, well done. I can notify you when other players steal your stuff, no thanks. One last thing, don't forget about your missions, you will get nice rewards for completing them. So we have some missions over here, edit your dungeon to improve its defenses, we're gonna claim that one and close this one. Use this knowledge to regain your treasure and become the king of thieves. We'll meet again soon, good luck. Okay, choose your Euro 2016 team, steal gold for your team to... Okay, team that makes most of it will get a unique outfit. Okay, um, as I saw on the Facebook post at this very moment, Germany is winning, but I'm from Belgium guys, so I'm definitely gonna be uh, picking the Belgium flag here. So there we go. Oh, we are only 12, so that's not very good. As you can see, Russia, uh, Germany is like a head way. But it's pretty cool they're doing such a thing, uh, like such a competition, and it's pretty cool. Even though I'm not really that interested in soccer, it's still a nice addition to the game. But sadly enough, we'll probably get no, uh, no, no special outfit because like Germany is way ahead. Like, how many balls does Belgium have? It only has 81, so that's not very good. Okay, so let's go back here. Oh, and it's over here to tap. Okay, that's cool. So uh, quite a lot has changed since I last uh, checked out King of Thieves. Uh, so let's first head into our uh, kingdom here. And as you can see, like when I was uh, still playing, this new totem over here wasn't available. So you get these teardrops from completing maze runs, I suppose. But that will be something for the future. So for now, we'll concentrate on this one. How many gold do we have? We have 7,000 gold. That is enough to upgrade our lockpick capacity. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Okay, so then we are going to attack. Uh, I'm going to do some single player levels first. Because these are pretty easy. And they give us some gold, which you can use to perhaps uh, skip bases uh, if we encounter... A bad base we don't want to raid. So there we go. As I said previously, try to avoid a little, a little green experience orbs a, orbs a bit. It ain't that bad if you like pick them up because I think like they have implemented a system where like you can no longer merge gems if you are under a certain level. So it isn't that bad if you actually pick them up. But like don't try to like like pick them up uh, to like progress faster that isn't a bad thing like you can pick them up occasionally uh, by accident uh, but don't go out of your way to actually pick them up because it's definitely not worth it it's it's a lot better to uh, three star a dungeon than to pick up these green experience orbs so there we go we'll go to the totem claim some gold it's really good actually doing these single player levels is actually uh, mandatory because if you don't do them you can't unlock the next totem so when all your teeth break in your totem you won't be able to move on to the next totem so there we go and there once again three star also if you can like uh, flawlessly raid a base you will get all your keys back so that's very beneficial and especially in these early levels you should definitely try and uh, like get your keys back because then you can keep on raiding all, all over and over again so we just leveled up we're level two which is pretty awesome so let's go on to level four here uh, like these bases are very easy like i think like the first 20 levels should all be pretty easy to three star so there we go I actually on my channel if you have some problem uh, problems with these single player levels I have videos on my channel uh, which like how which explain how to get three star on every single level so there are at this moment there are 112 uh, single player levels and on each of one of those levels I have a video on how you can uh, get three stars on those so you should definitely check them out if you have some trouble uh, getting three stars in certain levels if that's something you want to accomplish getting three stars in each level obviously because actually it's not really mandatory you can just like a one star it with a trap disabled and then you know, you can still progress through the totems and collect your gems from the gem mine. So it's really no big deal if you don't ha get three stars. But I, like, I think they call it OCD, like wanting to have it completed and having all three stars. It just looks really nice and it's something I like to achieve. So Jeffy is saying, congratulations on your first enhanced gem. The total value of your gems determines your position in the league. Let's check your current rank. So currently we're ranked 16, that ain't very good. 
Uh, that's you. You are in the competition. Get to the top to win valuable prizes and proceed to the next league. Reach the Golden League and you'll meet Lord Rastin, the one responsible for imprisoning you. Okay. Rastin, what? How did you manage to escape the prison where I put you? No matter, you'll never regain your old throne. Jace, take care of him. Yes, sir. The ex-king of thieves come to reclaim his throne. Her, her, her. I'm Jace, champion of this league, and you'll have to beat me first. Okay, so let's see. Uh, oh, we can actually scroll up, so we'll have to go back here. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll get to the top and win this league. Let's enhance another gem to increase your rank. Okay, again, we're gonna put in a red gem to receive the potion. That's a very smart thing to do. So let's start the ritual and go back over here. Keep using the totem to become the wealthiest thief in the kingdom. Okay, that sounds fair. Uh, so let's check our rank here and we are currently... Where are we ranked at? So we need to get about 3000 gems uh, if we want to proceed to the next league. So that shouldn't be too hard. In a moment we'll start um, uh, stealing some gems and we might even get to 3000 gems. Who knows? So we upgrade our lockpick capacity. At the moment I don't think we have enough gold for another upgrade. No, so that's gonna have to wait a little while. Okay, so... Um, um, what the hell, we're gonna find some real matches here. Okay, so this guy has some uh, nice gems. I would say let's raid him. Let's try and see if we can do this. So we're just gonna drop down, I'm gonna jump to the other side here. I'm gonna wait for the red guard to pass by because I wouldn't like to encounter him. Ah, oh, I messed up. Uh, how to do this, wait. Ah, crap. That ain't no flawless for me. This is actually already a pretty hard base for our first base. Because you have to go right under the saw, but you still have to jump high enough to get onto the platform. I don't know how this is done, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? Why did I... Why would this have to be my first... Oh, perhaps you have to jump over the saw once again. Okay, that sh could be possible. I didn't consider that option. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, it's like this. Okay, my bad. I, I, I just couldn't figure it out how it was done. So, we get the gem. One thing you should note is that when, with your first gem steals, there is a much higher j chance of actually uh, getting the gem. Like, King of Thieves like want to show you how it is to get this gem and steal and be happy so it's actually a much higher chance that you will get the gem than the spinner uh, shows you just something to keep in mind because if you can actually find a very val valuable gem uh, in one of your first gem steals um, there ex there's actually a pretty big chance you will actually steal him so that's definitely something you might want to keep in mind. So this is a very easy base. I think it's like a standard base uh, you get when you don't edit your base. So these ones are really easy and we should probably be able to steal this one. There we go. We also got a nice chunk of gold. So I'm totally loving it. But like with gems of 30, it ain't really going fast. <laughs> okay, we got to level three. There we go. Got some ores, got some uh, keys. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep on raiding. Eventually, we'll encounter bigger gems, I suppose. There we go. That was pretty easy. And we'll get a red gem. Oh, too bad we don't get the gem. Never mind. Like, for these early gems, never respin. It's totally not worth it. Uh, so, you should ju you should uh, just like. If you lose a gem, of, or if you don't get a gem from steel, it's really no big deal. Uh, you shouldn't feel bad about it. It's just a game and like sometimes the luck is in your favor and some sometimes it isn't. So, just gotta deal with it. So, we just moved up one rank. We are level f uh, 15 in our league as of right now. Wow, this guy has 12k gold. I definitely want that. So, there we go. Oh, I messed up. You have to jump at the very edge. There we go. Oh, come on. How is this done? How is this done? You can't just drop down or you'll drop on the saw. And you can't jump to the other side either. Wow, this guy already has a pretty good base. Oh, it's something along these lines, I suppose. 
Ah, oh, come on, only one star. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, you just have to continuously click to get it, actually. Okay. I mean, continuously uh, jumping, I mean. Okay, there we go. Our ritual just got finished. There we go. We just received a bigger gem. He's already 140. That's awesome. Good job. Let's enhance one more gem. So we're going to enhance the same one. Let's start this one. And do you realize how many people out there want to steal your gems? Let's play it safe this time and speed up the ritual. Okay, so it's free. So I'll definitely speed that one up. So we're going to collect the gem. There we go. We're already in rank 12, guys. It's awesome. We're moving up pretty quickly in these ranks. Oops, I forgot to tell you about this early, but these totems are fragile. We can't analytically use their powers after a certain number of rituals. They become depleted. I recently noticed a brand new totem in a dungeon nearby. Let's move your home base there. Okay. So, attack. And there it is. A new totem. We're going to move over to it. Tap to move in. You can choose a set of straps for your new dungeon. Tougher sets provide better defenses but cost orbs. Let's buy the first set. It's free, so I like that. Congratulations on your new dungeon. Let's upgrade your traps to increase their damage. We're gonna upgrade our saws. It's for free. So I like that a lot. So we have level two saws right now. You know what to do, good luck. Okay, so we got some missions completed. Still 3000 gold from other players. Apparently it's connecting to Google Play, I don't know why. Uh, we'll do that later. So, uh, we'll, we'll probably like their Facebook page. Um, but I'm gonna do that off screen because I don't want to show it on screen, you know. Okay, so next thing to do, we're gonna build a little bit of a better base. I don't really know what to do. Like one really good jump I can advise you guys is the red guard jump. Uh, for early players, this is a pretty difficult jump and not many people know how to actually do it. Um, like perhaps something along these lines, I don't know. Um, um, how are we going to do this? Like something like this, I don't know. Let's try it and see if we can actually save this one. Okay, no, this is ain't even possible. Um, Yeah, this should be good. Oh, well, I messed up. I'm not even sure. Is the red guard jump still possible? Oh, yeah, there we go. So now we need to pass this one. This is also going to be pretty, going to be pretty tough. Okay, there we go. So now we have to save. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. Man. I have gotten rusty. I can't even do a single red guard jump. This is a little embarrassing. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're gonna pick another base, guys. Um, That's probably not possible. I don't know. Something like this, I don't know. Oh, come on. <laughs> How could I mess that up? Okay, there we go. We're just gonna save this one. I don't even know if it, if it's better than the original one, but it's something. Oh, how are you kidding me, man? How hard can a base be? There we go. One more time. There we go. And there we go. We saved it. Okay. So I think this one is a little bit better than the original one. So we'll stick with this one. Also, we got 10k gold, but I like 14k. So we're going to have to rate a little bit more. So we're gonna wait till we get 14k and then we're just going to upgrade uh, our trap, uh, our uh, lockpick capacity. That should be fine. 
And there we go, 15K in the pocket. That's how I roll. And okay, you didn't get it. Uh, level four, we are leveling, leveling up so fast. I don't even know if that's a good thing. Probably not. Let's try this one. That looks a little bit difficult or at least a little bit more difficult than the previous one. At least this guy tried to make like an original base. Oh, it's still pretty easy. Okay, there we go. We stole 5k gold. That should be enough for the 14k we needed. So let's head back home here. Upgrade our lockpick capacity. Of these three things, lockpick capacity is definitely the best thing to upgrade. So we're gonna upgrade it once again. It's gonna take 30 minutes. No big deal, and we're gonna also upgrade like our sauce. No, that costs too much. So we're gonna upgrade our red guard. And we just have enough gold for that. That's pretty darn awesome. Okay, guys, so this was the first episode of Let's Play King of Thieves. I hope you li guys liked it. Like, I liked it. I'm back in the game. Uh, many uh, of you fellow foxes have requested me playing this game once again. In the comments on every single video, when will you play King of Thieves again? Well, look. I said I would be back and I'm definitely back into the game. I'm gonna do this Let's Play series and you guys just let me know what you think, if you like it, if I should continue it. And if you actually never played King of Thieves before, definitely check out the sponsored download link below in the description, through which you can download this game totally for free. Every download helps out the channel, so uh, a tremendous thank you if you actually do so. Also, I'm being pretty active on Instagram, so Follow me there, I post almost daily pictures, mainly about Clash of Clash Royale, but I'll also try to mix in uh, some King of Thieves pictures. I also post real life pictures, so if you're interested in that and what I'm doing in my life, uh, you can def definitely check out my Instagram. It's uh, instagram.com slash Uh So guys, if you like this video, definitely drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe to get updated on future King of Thieves videos. Stay awesome, fellow foxes, and see you next time.